Welcome everybody to the first official Magic Find test. Uh, I wanted to compare some different Magic Find strats now that I have this character somewhat set up and I kind of took some time and understood what maps I can and cannot handle. I want to do 10 rotations of two different MF strats and I want to compare them to see how they line up. Correction! to the start of the Legion video, because I'm not, I think I started the video by saying I'm gonna compare the Legion and the Abyss strat. I am not. I've just tried the Abyss. This is after the Legion already happened. And Abyss is just not fun. You gotta chase the Abysses around. You gotta DPS the Spires to 40%. If you kill them, you lose like all the loot from all the rares that it would spawn. Um, when you're not shooting, you're in danger. You can't use Mirage Archer. And the juiciest ones, the 10K maps, I, tr I got one 10K Abyss map and I couldn't run it alone. It's too rippy. And if you have to stop DPSing on your juiciest maps, you just die. And it feels bad to either break or have to like enlist an aura bot when this is supposed to be like a solo strat. So that is for the Fulcrum boys or the people with, you know, 10 mirror gear. I am not running more Abyss. I still play this game for fun and Legions have been a lot of fun and which this video will go over in great detail, but no Abyss for me. Not a huge sample size, but it's better than, you know, one you know one round of maps or whatever so at least uh, 40 maps first one is gonna be legion uh, i've been running this for the past two days while i was experimenting with what the character can and can't do and uh, i've landed on single damage mod maps up to single damage mod maps i'm not gonna vol them i chiseled them and awk them and they're all 90 plus pack size 90 plus quant most of them are 100 plus that's the maps that we're doing. They're gonna be Burial Chambers, and I'm gonna be going Ambush, Legion, Relic, and Davis Scarabs. Sextants are gonna be Box, Box, Legion, and Beyond. And we're gonna put Ambush on the map device. So that's the investment. We can calculate it at the end. And we're gonna separate the loot, run 40 maps, and see what we get. I have purchased the 500 dollar supporter pack because not only this league is amazing and I want to support good leagues that I like you know the direction that GGG is going with the game also it provides an incredible amount of data this map device will tell me how many mobs I killed in every map how many rares I killed especially this is the number I'm really interested in and so I'm gonna write down how many rares I kill on each map on the legion map so that we can get an average and I'm gonna write down how much juice I get on each map from the league mechanic so that we can get an average for that. With that out of the way, let's get going. There's gonna be some frequently asked questions like why am I running a headhunter? Why am I running a mage blood? Why am I swapping flask? Why, am I, why is my flask not unkindled? I am running the league mechanic with a mage blood with fast flasks to go fast. And then I'm gonna be swapping my flasks to use on full flask and I'm gonna be running the map with a headhunter to ramp up, get a lot of defensive buffs so I don't fall over to the insanely tanky mobs that, and the rippy mobs that the lead mechanic produces. And then once I'm done clearing the map, mostly I'm gonna switch back to my speed flask, switch back to my mage blood and loot with the mage blood because it's way faster than, you know, walking around like this. I think I'm gonna edit my filter a little bit more and remove everything under half a chaos. Right now I have like some third of a chaos clicks. I think I'm gonna remove those and we're gonna loot everything that's half a chaos or more. Numbers for quant, I have 75 quantity and 263 rarity. These numbers won't change. This is without divination distillate. Those are the numbers that I have, 90 and 306. My atlas for the legion strat looks like this. I get some box mobs. I get some legion chance, I get some more legion chance, some uh, more box stuff, double open, singular focus, blue altars, some breach chance, wandering path, of course, the entire top hat, and some uh, ritual chance and beyond. That's pretty much the tree. Quant in the middle, quant rarity. That's the atlas. I have a little map up tier chance. Yeah, pretty generic, uh, you know, wandering path tree with legion and some breach, some harbinger chance. Yeah, that's my atlas. I get a divine! <laughs> oh, 
Hello! I get a divine. 19 of them, in fact. Damn! Okay. Solo MF is so barack. Obama. All right, I think this boss is a is a no mega level, but we'll try. Uh, maybe. Oh, thank you, Progenesis. He dropped. She dropped four belts. Are they good? No. Ooh, that's a big, big yellow mob. Jesus. All right, Legion's about to pop. Something thing. A ring! Oh, yes! My first good T0. Holy shit. Calandra. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. I get a divine. <laughs> this this drop sound makes me unreasonably happy. <laughs> All right, I click the legion. I get a divine. Uh oh, it's shrinking. Stop shrinking. We need ball. <laughs> okay, divine in the league mechanic. Interesting. <laughs> oh my god, these ghosts. Are they gonna drop anything? <laughs> and there is the answer to my question. Okay. Fortune 8. I leveled up! I level up. I get a divine. Dude, I level up in these maps? That is... I'm impressed with myself. Holy shit. <laughs> I get a skill point. I don't have time to spend that right now. Trying to clear this legion and move on. Oh, I need that. I need that bubble. Oh, no! <gasps> oh. Holy shit. Okay. I, I'm not clicking ritual. We're moving on. There's a clutch divination desolate click. Okay. Let's go. I missed the divine. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> but we have to keep going. Okay. We have to keep the ramp going. Otherwise, I don't get a divine. I get a death. Alright, let's do this ritual. <coughs> you missed the divine. <laughs> That's, <funny. laughs> That's okay. We get another one. Okay. It's fine. Then it gets replaced by another divine. Okay. Where's the divine? Okay, I'm going around again. Double check. Oh, something sounded. Okay. Fuck, man. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, Maybe it's, it's time for a filter. <laughs> Okay, just go from exalt to exalt. Oh, there is a divine here. Okay. <laughs> Nam ten, baby. Yeah, guys, groups are so overpowered. You can you can never farm juicy map solo. It is it is impossible. It's just it's only group players, man. Fucking group players. With their eight way split. It's possible to corrupt a portal gem into a vault bridge. Uh I did it used to be. You used to have to have a um, breach flag on your map, but I don't know if it still is because they changed that stuff around when they changed the Nemesis requirement for Headhunter and stuff. Wow, we got a lock. That is big. How big is it? It's 17 div big. That is pretty big. This info comes from Fobgon stream. He had a chatter who told him this, and then people have been experimenting, and some people have been map hacking and confirming the experimenters. The events in the Wildwood are basically located in this pattern 
almost all the time. They can also be an X, so like here, 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 and here. But most of the time, they're a diamond. So if you spawn, most of the time, you will spawn somewhere in the middle. So once you find one event, you try to not hog the wall, you go this way, and then you try to collect all the four events. I mean, the events might still be bad. Once you found two events, you know that you either have this two or this two. Or if you found these, then you know that you have these two and the, or these two. And then based on that information, you can try to path to the other one. Wow, I thought this was a bad map. <laughs> Eight divines, okay. This was supposed to be a bad map. Hello? Doctor! Wait, this was supposed to be a bad map! Hello! Only bangers. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Wait, did I dupe a puzzle box? Or was there just two natural drops? That dropped at the same time. That must have been a dupe. Damn. I did it, the <laughs> Okay, that was... What? I duped another one! <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Settle in and let the worries of the day melt away as we journey into the soothing melodies of our next number. Prepare to be enveloped in the serene harmonies of the comforts of looting, a gentle piano piece that promises to transport you to a world of tranquility. Fuck, the music kind of ended. <laughs> okay, ended this. <laughs> Circus. Do I need an aura bot? Probably. If I die two times, I will probably enlist an aura bot. That's 10.5, right? That's highest juice. Yeah, the highest we had so far was 9.4. There is a deli mirror too. Oh no, there's no way. Want rarity. I just need to get ramped. Please, God, let me ramp. Just. I get a divine. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm turning on the mirror. Already a key into divines. Okay, no looting. Only divine looting. Jesus. Oh, don't stop. I did a divine! <laughs> uh, alteration? No. What's the other one? Final boss drops. Don't care. Okay. Keep going. Just need to get to the legions. Can't stop on bullshit. 41 buffs. Here is a legion. Okay. That's cool. It's not a great spot, but... Corner... There's probably some rares in the little exit. Go down. Yeah, they're here. Then we turn around. There's an altar there, but I can't check right now. I'm gonna clear this first. So we're safe later to loot. Okay, now we check the altar. It's... Map dupe? No, we're not clicking that. Let's go. Okay, we're moving on. If we need to exit here. Oh, okay, good. Get to the legions. One legion. Nice, we're ramped back up. 40 buffs. There is a third legion, yes. Oh, can I get that I bubble? I get a bubble and I get a divine. Nice. Okay, we wait for the third legion. Ritual done. Third ritual is probably boss room. What happened there? One more box. Okay. I think we're going boss to try. Try the boss. Mm -hmm, there's the ritual. Oh, it's double boss too. I'm about to res them. Final boss drops four jeweler orbs. Okay, no. No thanks. 
think we died to this double boss, but it's probably worth on the off chance that I get a divine. I get a divine! Okay. <laughs> that was worth it. Um, <laughs> good map! Now to loot for a while. Oh! The replica Dragon Fang. Okay, last item that I check. Wave of Conviction. Jesus. 87. More than two Div of Sextons. Two Exons. Yeah. 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 Div, at least. Something thinged. What thinged? I heard it again. It's a doctor on the last map. Nice. Okay, I should do ritual first and then Legion and then other ritual maybe. That's a nice that's a nice map to finish on. <laughs> Alright, let's check this. 20. Do people like that? This one? They want movement speed or life, right? Maybe, maybe someone runs their aura in there instead. Or their, their, their second aura instead of, I don't know. Oh! A mob. A monster. Or spell suppress, yeah. Alright, let's check. Plus one. Plus one is one divine. I'll take it. It's fine. Okay. We did it. We, we, we actually did it. Cleared 40 maps. Except 39 because we just basically decided not to run one. That's what we got. This, this, and this. And that's it. 40 maps. Let's figure out how much we made. As always, we enlist the help of our good friend, the Windows Calculator, and start counting. We got 170 bulk sellable maps. None of them are corrupted or mirrored. I took those out. Burial chambers, basically only a couple of mesas. So 170 times three, 510 chaos. YouTube, of course, I will save you the hassle of uh, the price checking. I'm gonna price check everything uh, in this tab that you know we can't excellence and then take out the investment as usual and then excellence the currency and the fragment tabs at the end it's worth noting that we got two doctor drops two individual doctor drops from this so far and 96 raw divines and 77 raw exalts so pretty lucky on the divine versus exalt front but now this divine number is going to be destroyed by the fortunate cards that we're about to hand in this is all the cards we found, two doctors. I don't know if that's on the luckier end. I haven't run enough solo in the setup to, to tell, but that's what we found, so that's what we'll check. The doctor to fortune ratio is one to 86, and we got 16, so eight rounds of fortunate. So eight times 12 is 96 plus four. So we got exactly 100 fortunates, Sorry, 112 fortunates, and we got two doctors. So we are a little bit lucky on the doctor side compared to our fortunate count. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. Bad, bad, bad. All right. The venters were all bad. Moving on. We got a, we got a good. Penance brand replica dragon fang, which is actually high RME as well. 10 RME is 12 div. Wow. Okay, that's basically like ours. It's five auras instead of six, but yeah. Let's call it one hour ago. Yeah, these are legit price. So 12 div for this. Current div price is 215. 
So that's 2580 chaos. Nice. The moment of truth. Um, I price checked a bunch of stuff. I only added stuff that was at least 20 chaos. That's a tenth of a divine. I'm not gonna do lower trades than that. And if I'm not gonna, I'm, not, I'm just not gonna include it in the data. We found a bunch of uh, random low value stuff. It's probably like 20 C of 30 C of essences in there, some fossils, some low cards, some other stuff I haven't priced. So, you know, this is just the good stuff, the easy to sell stuff. And then this doesn't include our investment yet. So this, is, this number is gonna go way down before it goes way up. So what we got, this one isn't price checked. This tab isn't price checked, which is gonna excellence. And then this tab isn't price checked, which we're gonna excellence. So we're gonna excellence these three things. Now, we found two T0s, one worthless one, and one good one. This ring is like 40 div or something. Could have gotten belts, which would be a lot more, or we could have gotten nothing, you know, divinarius or whatever other like worthless stuff like this. I think this is a decent amount of T0s. It's just two and one of them is, is okay and the other one is worthless. So I think I'm going to include this, but if, uh, if you don't want to, then you take out four of the divines from the final profit and then you just don't include the T0 drop. We also got two doctors, which is a little bit on the luckier side. Doctor to fortunate ratio is one to 80. So we found 112 fortunates and we got two doctors. So two doctors is kind of lucky. Two doctors should be like 160 fortunates. We got 112. So I'm taking out one doctor and we're calling it lucky. So I'm including the one ring and the one doctor and we're not including the second doctor. Okay, put this aside. So what have we spent? I've spent about one divine per map. We did the math at the start with all the sextants and all the scarabs and the map rolling and map device and everything. It's about one div per map. So 215 C map. Now I only have data for 38 maps because I just break two maps. One of them I just went down insta died to some boss, you know, the DGen one, and I just didn't run the map. I just like zero, literally zero juice. I had like 200 juice or something, you know, I like entered and I insta died, didn't run the map. And uh, that happened like one more time way later uh, in the session. Here is the, um, here is the numbers, okay? This, I wrote down how much juice I got, 4K, 1.6, 3.5, 2.2, 5, 8K, 0 0.7, we ran this. And here's how many rares I killed in those maps. So we can get an average for these at the end for some extra data, but that's how it went. So if we spent one divine on 40 maps, one divine each, that would be 40 times 215. So we spent 8,600 chaos. So we take that off and this is our starting point. And then we're gonna excellence and see how much we made. We're adding Affliction Pricing, Affliction C, Affliction F, and Stuff. Whatever's in these three tabs is pure profit. Good luck. Take snapshot. 68,437 chaos. All right, let's add that. Jesus Christ. Wow. So 64,847 chaos, pure profit. God damn. All right, let's do some mathematics. 215 divided by 215. What? That's 301 divines. Beautiful. And that does not include our second doctor. So this could be 280 if you take out the ring and add back the doctor, or this could be 320 if you add this doctor. So we'll just call it 300 div. Now, how long did it take to run this? Let's find out because we have VODs. Five and a half hours yesterday and five hours today. So it took 10 and a half hours to run them. That includes the two breaks, like 15 minute breaks. It takes, it took pretty much exactly 10 hours to run them. So that would be 30 divs an hour, MFing. 
and this includes me like tabbing out, writing down how much juice I get every every time, writing down how much rares I get every map, and it doesn't include our second doctor. Anywhere from 28 to 32 dev per hour, depending on what you want to count on terms of the in terms of the lucky drop, the the one ring and the two doctors. So if we take all of that out, let's say we didn't get the ring and didn't get any doctors, that's uh, that's 220 dev, right? So that would be 22 dev per hour. Wow. How about the per map? Let's find out. So that's 40 maps. What about the, we don't care about the hour. We don't care how long it took. It's seven and a half dev per map extracted value. That's pure profit. You put one divine in and you get eight and a half out. So you get seven and a half divine profit per these maps. This is six mod burial chambers. Wow, 30 div an hour, huh? MF is pretty good, but you need a very strong character for T16 at least. Uh, you can do it on T7 for cheaper, but yeah. As always, you know, trade, trade time, you can add that into, if, if you wanna include trade time in your diff per hour calculations, I always just include the farm and then you can modify any calculation you want, however you want. That is, uh, that is close to what I heard from Fobgun. Yeah, I think he said 30-ish as well. I don't know how, 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 how it tracked or like what he sells or whatever, but I think eight mod this goes up. If you, if you can handle the eight mods, which I mean, I can also, I just need to roll a lot of maps to get some good ones. This is with a filter that loots 0.8 C and up at the moment. And I think this is single pricing on all those boxes single pricing on scarabs like if you farm a lot and then you bulk sell stuff this number only goes up like the three the, like 301 div probably becomes like 350 if you farm a lot and you bulk sell so more like 35 per hour let's uh let's do an average for the juice for these maps oh my god that is beautiful so some numbers we got an average of 5k almost 4.9k juice per map this includes the 700 one that i ran and the 1k here and we killed an average of 98 rares per map doing the legion strat i only did rituals if i had 4k or more juice so whenever it's like low, low rare count it was probably like bad juice and i just didn't bother to do the rituals or i didn't get the rituals because i don't have 100 percent ritual chance yeah, but those are those are the numbers that I got. Almost 5k average. Jesus, what an MF league.